I saw over the soft season you were ranked the highest rated interior offensive lineman in, in the Power Five. And I guess my, my first question is, how did you get to be at that level? What, what kind of drive and what kind of dedication does it take to be able to, to get there? What kind of technique have you been working on during your time at K-State to attain that success? Um, I mean, I guess I just worked on this, like footwork and then like no matter what, like coming out of high school, like I didn't know how to pass pro to save my life. I mean, we never passed the ball. We always ran. So, I mean, that was a big key for me is just to work on my pass pro. And then um, just for the drive, I mean, I just come in every day just to get better. There's always something you can get better on no matter how good you think you are. There's always something you can work on if it's hands, your right technique for your feet, you know, get in the right uh, position to block somebody. It really all depends. And then you just have to break down your film every day and kind of just look at it. And then Coach Riley, like, he'll say something in meetings, like, what like somebody needs to work on and you just kind of focus on that you just you have a bunch of things to focus on you're really not going to accomplish one thing so what he likes to say is um break it down to like take three things out to practice and try to get better at those three th things instead of trying to get better at like say 15 things and, and connor, connor riley earlier said that he, he believed that you could really have a, a dominant type of of season do you feel pressure kind of being the leader of this, the youngest offensive line in the FBS? Um, no, I don't really feel pressure because I trust all those guys. I trust every offensive lineman we have that they'll do their job and they'll do it the right way. And then, I mean, if they have questions, they come up to me and ask. And, you know, I don't mind answering those questions no matter when it is. Like, I've had um, some freshmen that just got on campus. He, uh, he texted me and asked me about, like, certain plays or certain technique and – I mean, it was pretty late, so I just texted him back, be like, hey, like, this is how you do it. If you have any more questions, just, just shoot them to me. Thank you. Adam? Noah Johnson said he gets a chip on his shoulder to play because that's just the whole offensive line, and that's how the offensive line plays. What would you say it is about this offensive line that gets its chip on their shoulder to play? Um, I would just say it's uh, – because how I mean, big and physical we can be. I mean, last year we we're, we we're physical and big, but I feel like this year, since we have a, a year under our belt of this offense and how Coach Riley wants everything to work, I feel like we can all accomplish that together. And then we all just, our communication throughout everything is just fantastic. Kels? There's been a lot of talk about the inexperience that is on the line. Now that you've had these, you know, weeks in camp, do you still feel inexperienced or do you feel like you're ready for the season? Um, no, I feel like uh, for the most part we're ready. I mean, we're uh, – our communication, like I said, has just been phenomenal. I mean, and then you have, like, young guys like Logan Long that came in that just switched to tackle and to offense line. And, He's picking up really well. KT's seen the picture now. Um, ben Adler, he's his technique's got a whole lot better. Uh, Christian Duffy, he's been he's been doing everything right. Coach Riley really likes how we've been getting to the hip on certain plays, and I feel like right now I feel like we have a very good chance right now of playing. What skill players would you say you've been most excited about blocking for throughout camp so far? Um. Right now, the receivers I I like right now are, uh, you know, YB, uh, Malik, um, Landry, Seth Porter. Um, and then there's a couple of freshman running backs uh, like Deuce Vaughn. Like when I was watching his film, it's just how low he gets when he cuts is just, I can never do that, you know? <laughs> and it just amazes me like how some people can do that. And he just looks really good out there. Last one here, John Kurtz. Yeah, hey, Josh, do you feel like because you guys are such an inexperienced group and lost all the starters from last year, there is an element of, hey, we have a chip on our shoulder or wanting something to prove because people are wondering about that? Yeah, um, I feel like all the offensive linemen have that little chip to try to prove people wrong. I mean, we were like, we saw stuff on Twitter, like during our little break that we had in the, the spring and it's saying like, uh, Kansas State offensive line is going to be like the weakest point of the team or they're so inexperienced like they don't know like how fast games move and stuff which I mean 
I see that at a point, but I mean, this offense line is just hungry to hungry to play. And I feel like we have the capability of really not dropping down to everybody's expectations and being like the lack of the team. I feel like us five or whoever, whoever's playing, um, we'll have a good chip and we can be able to put it on and not be like the lack of the team.